We strongly feel that uh, the open source community and the makers community can reshape the market of prosthetic devices. Our motto is affordable dexterity. According to recent studies concerning the prosthetics market in the United States, non-functional cosmetic hands cost between three to five thousand dollars. Functional split hook devices cost around ten thousand dollars. Cosmetically realistic myoelectric hands with open close functionality often cost more than thirty thousand dollars, while the total costs of sophisticated neuroprosthetic hands tend to exceed the cost of one hundred thousand dollars. As a result, a significant part of hand amputees cannot afford to buy adequately functional prosthetic hands. And even the ones that can afford to buy functional prosthesis tend to find existing solutions too heavy and uncomfortable to wear. And in the fear of damaging them and paying excessive repair costs, they actually refrain from using them in their everyday lives and use simple hooks instead. We are a team of engineers that met the Control System Lab of NTUA. Having spent several years on robotic grasping research, we realized that the state-of-the-art robot hands may be technologically sophisticated, but lack in functionality and are overpriced. A common cause of cost explosion in commercially available solutions is design customization. To address this need without compromising affordability, we use parametric hand models derived from hand anthropometry studies to adjust our design to the needs of each individual. The only required parameters to personalize the design are the hand length and the hand breadth. The game-changing feature of our prosthetic hand is its differential mechanism that allows the user to implement 144 different grasping postures and gestures only requiring one motor while weighing less than 300 grams and costing less than $200. In order to further automate the replication of our hand, enhance its modularity, aesthetically improve its look and allow for the embedding of extra parts such as sensors, we developed a new design of prosthetic hand fingers based on fabrication with the method of hybrid deposition manufacturing or HDM. All we need is a model of the human hand to create a mold and the rest is handled by HDM. To demonstrate the advantage of this design, we implemented an NFC ready version of this finger design concept. When I touch this finger to the phone's NFC sensor, it will announce the time. 10.55 p.m. When I touch this finger to the phone's NFC sensor, it will open the web browser to the Open Bionics Initiative webpage. This technology can also be used to store information about the owner's contact information, information about the production and maintenance of the prosthesis, as well as user preferences including favorite radio stations, navigation routes to home and work, mobile phone settings, and data to facilitate one-touch transactions in retail settings. Now you can see some experiments with real life objects.
objects of various geometries and shapes can be grasped, and different grasps can be achieved using just one motor. And our future plans is to develop a new prosthesis which will be even more affordable. Another important goal is to develop human augmentation devices to enhance people abilities.